All right, we're gonna get into 12.4, day two. Let me show you guys a couple more examples. Your assignment uh, for this section is, is rather light, but I wanted to give you guys a little bit more time to uh, go back to some of the ones that you may have gotten wrong, ask a few questions, get help with those, just because uh, this section is that important. Um, I showed you guys an example like this yesterday. We're gonna, we're factoring trinomials, and the top one is gonna be x minus five, x plus two. Again, if you need to use the box factoring this, that's okay. Um, and then the bottom one will be x plus four times x plus two. So a lot of the skills that I've taught you in the previous algebra review section, you're gonna be using within these um, sections. And so I've uh, kind of, that's why we've been going kind of out of order a lot, you've noticed. Um, I've been, I teach this in a certain direction um, or a path so that uh, by, by the time you get to each one of these skills that you'll have the necessary tools to do so. Uh, x divided by two, uh, or x plus two divided by x plus two is equal to one, and we have x minus five over x plus four. And similar to before, you don't have to worry about anything that says state the excluded value. Okay, this next section, or this next concept, it's called opposites, is really, really, really important. If you see something such as, and, and I've showed you this before, seven minus x. What you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna rewrite it as negative x plus seven. Now, after that, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna factor out negative one. And so you have negative one on the outside, and then you have x minus seven. And so what that looks like is negative x plus seven, divide by negative one, divide by negative one. That's how you end up with that right there. So this skill is really, really important. So for example, this question right here, um, the top one factors into x minus, let's see, x minus four, x minus three. Negative four times negative three is positive 12, negative four plus negative three is negative seven. Now, we're gonna rewrite this so that it is in descending order, negative x squared plus 16. Then I'm gonna factor out the negative one and I'll be left with x squared minus 16. Now you may ask yourself, how do I factor x squared minus 16? Because that we haven't seen that yet. In that, and that's true, we have not seen something like this. Although we can turn it into something that you guys have seen. Okay, we have a zero x there. So if it's not a trinomial, you can easily make it a trinomial by adding this missing term here. Now you ask yourself, what two numbers will multiply to negative 16, but add to zero? Negative four and positive four. And you can check, I'll show you that right here. X minus four, X plus four, you have X squared, you have negative four X, you have positive four X. Those two combine to give you zero X, which is what we have right there. And then you have a negative 16. So this would be X minus four, X plus four. So the factory form of this is that guy right there. Now, you can write that. And don't forget your minus sign because we factored out this minus sign right there. That is important. X minus four, X plus four. That's part of the problem. All right, now we have those reduce. On the top, we have X minus three. On the bottom, we have negative X plus four. And that's your answer. All right, uh, three more problems. And as I mentioned, you're gonna see a lot of factoring. A lot, a lot, a lot of factoring. So, um, let's start by factoring numerator and then denominator, then we'll see if we can reduce. Uh, multiplies to two, but adds to three. X plus two, X plus one. Multiplies to 10, but adds to seven. X plus five, X plus two. So the X plus two is reduced, and we have X plus one divided by X plus five. All right, this one here. Again, this is an example where it's a binomial, so I'm adding a zero x right there. What two numbers multiply to, to negative 64, but add to zero? That's eight and negative eight. Okay, so the top is y minus eight, y plus eight, and the, the sorry, the numerator, and then the denominator is uh, y minus eight and y minus eight. Negative eight times negative eight is positive 64, but negative eight plus negative eight is negative 16. 
All right, those cancel out, and you're left with y plus eight over y minus eight. And this one, we have a lot going on here. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to put this in descending order. So I'm going to put the z squared, then the z, then the constant term. The, the z is negative, or the z squared is negative, the other two are positive. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to factor out that negative sign so that the leading coefficient is positive. Okay, so this right here is really this right here. All of that. All right, so what I'm going to do is factor that. z minus 5, z plus 1. And then the denominator, I'm going to factor into z minus 5 and z plus 2. The z minus 5s are gone. And I have negative. Don't forget about this negative right here. That needs to go right there. And z plus 1. And then on the bottom, I have z plus 2. Now you're going to notice that I have parentheses on the bottom, the denominator, but not the numerator. The reason why I have parentheses around the, the numerator is because there's this minus sign that I factored out. This minus sign belongs to both of those. There's nothing that's, that belongs on the outside rather than a 1, but you don't need that there. So you, can, you don't need to put parentheses here. Um, it'd be unnecessary. Okay, now you're going to notice um, shorter. So what I want you to do is finish slash correct slash ask questions on day one. That is part of your assignment. So I left this short so that you guys can get extra help on day one. Thank you guys for tuning in to 12.4.